Hello there, Peppers FM here, and welcome back to this FM21 Real Sociedad Let's Play. So first of all, I want to just apologise about the lack of daily uploads at the moment. I've been super busy and just have not had the time to uh, keep a, a schedule, basically. But now I do have, I'm free now, so I will be posting a lot more. But anyway, when we last met, it was the 2-0 victory against Villarreal. Since then, we've had good results, but there's one big standout uh, performance, what we'll talk about later. So first, it was a 2-0 victory against Dinamo. Isco getting his first goal for the club, uh, followed by Eduard. Then a 5-1 victory against Val Valladolid. I don't even know how to say that. Not a got a clue. Youssef Demir getting a goal in the league. And Isaac with a hat-trick. Great performance. Then a 1-0 victory against Benfica. Very good. Chuck away is he getting the only goal in that game. 2-1 victory against Atletico Pamplona. Uh, Oyazabal and Le Normand uh, getting on the score sheet. Then Girona 2-0. Uh, Depay with a penalty and an own goal. And then, oh, this was the game I'm talking about. Such a shame. We got absolutely demolished by Benfica away. We just did not turn up. We had a strong slide out and it just wasn't good enough, basically. Very, very disappointing. But we bounced back with a superb 2-1 victory against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. Isaac getting both goals in that game and he still remains our key player. What a player. He is wanted by Man United and for her for Berlin again. Valued at £60 million. He's on such a small contract though, but still we've got him till 2025. 12 goals in 13 starts and I hope it can continue into today's game against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. So this is the current table. We are still top with nine points. But after that, that defeat to Benfica, Dortmund and Benfica are on our tails, both with seven points. So our victory today would, would it? Yeah, it would uh, secure our qualification. So a very, very big game. <clears throat> and uh, this is the team we will play today. Just a couple of two injuries to tell you about. Bernat's out and Iremendi is injured, but it's not too much of an issue. Donnarumma will start in goal. Gorospel will return at right back in the place of Pedro Porro, who's been playing okay recently. Torres and Le Normand will start at centre-back today. After Felipe's own goal, and he didn't play great at the Bernabeu, decided to bring Le Normand back in. Gosens at left-back. Tenali and Marino will be the midfield pair. Chukwueze on the right. Oyazabal as advanced playmaker. And Depay on the left, with, of course, Isaac up front. Let's go. So a victory today will seal our qualification. I did say Champions League will be my main focus this season. And I'm determined to get a good run. We are the current Europa League champions. And we defeated prestigious teams such as Liverpool and Arsenal on the way to that trophy. So I see why there will be no reason for us to put a good show in uh, in the Champions League this year. Although the Benfica result has left a sour taste in my mouth. And I am a bit concerned about that. But I'm hoping today we can get back on track with a big performance against a good Dortmund side as Memphis goes through and oh, off the line by Zagadou. Memphis not performing to the same levels of last season so far. But I'm hoping after his long injury he can get back into the swing of things. Something does seem a little bit laggy at the moment. I'm not sure why. But we're knocking the ball around nicely. Gosens. Into Memphis. Great football as Marino goes close. We're playing well here. Started started well. But we need to need to start putting the chance our chances away. Bowman not really created anything so far. But Bowman will have a highlight here, I think. Giovanni Reina, who I did try to sign during the summer, but couldn't agree a fee with Dortmund. As Dortmund go close and that man early in Haaland. Oh god, Dortmund take the lead and of course it's from their main man early in Haaland. Don't want to watch it again. Probably the only striker I'd take instead of Alexander Isaac at the moment, but Oh yes, he goes close again. Now we need to see what we're made of. Now our backs are going against the wall because 
if we lose this, then we will be in a very precarious position as long, well, it depends. If Benfica beat Dinamo, which is expected, and Dortmund beat us, then, yeah, we are in a dodgy position. I think we could would still qualify with victory against uh, Dinamo. But, anyway, I just want to do it today. I don't want to be messing around. Right. Some poor performances across the board here. Chukwueze has got a bit of a knock, so bring on Adnan Yanazai, and then if Pai is playing poor, do I bring on Dembele or I think I bring on mm, no right Usman Dembele, you're on. So two new wingers, Yanazai and Dembele. Isaac having a very poor game after just picking him up. But Benfica get an equaliser against Dinamo. Not good for us. Demand more from the boys. Change to attacking. Put some pressure on. Can we counter here? Sandro Tonali. Usman Dembele. Wilson's. Yeah, oh, Dembele goes close. 20 minutes left here now. Oh, Benfica take the lead, and now, yeah, this is the... We have dropped down to third. Eduard's been... Not Eduard, Isaac's been shocking. Get Eduard on. Last 10 minutes, hopefully. That goal changes everything for us. Players are tired. Come on, it looks like it's going to be back to back Champions League defeats unless we can ponder something up here in the final minutes. Eduard the substitute into Tonali, gets it out wide to Gosens. Back into Tonali, has an effort, and Usman Dembele, but is it offside? Eh? Oh no! What the? Oh. Usman Dembele, I thought he got the equaliser. But it was not meant to be. Oh no. So what does this mean for us now? We've got beaten back to back Champions League defeats. It's not good. It's not good at all. That leaves us in third position. Our last game is against Dinamo. So if we win that, we will qualify at least. But it means that unless Dortmund and Benfica draw, then we cannot top the group, which is not ideal. It means a harder draw in the next round. Oh, God. Yeah, very disappointing. So when let's have a look. We oh, have Dinamo again soon. Oh, this is the weird Qatar World Cup here. So a condensed schedule, and we won't play for a long time until January. So maybe I'll come back for the Dinamo game, and we can see what our Champions League fate will be. It's been your boy Peppers FM. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Peace out. <laughs>